We're back with Lucinda Scala Quinn, who, by the way, is also one of the hosts on our Everyday Food Show, which um, is on PBS. And uh, you have to see it. It's so great. It complements our Everyday Food magazine. Yes, that's every is, night cooking. That's oh, like getting yep. on the table every day. It every is, night. and it's such a good magazine. So what are you doing? We're going to make a drink. Well, we're making a drink, Lemon Drop Champagne Punch. Now, you know I was thinking about you. Lemons. With, yes, because I have two great lemon lovers in my life. One of them's you, and one of them's my mom, Rose. And I always think of you guys when I cook with lemon. Excellent. If you would like to, we have, okay. um, you can either use a knife or a regular old peeler. So we're taking off our strips here, just the rind of the lemon. Okay. Um, this, this, well, first of all, again, I started with the lamb chops. Then you I thought... You want long strips or does yeah, it matter? Yeah, long strips is pretty if you can. It doesn't okay. really matter. And I decided that lemon is such a wonderful compliment to lamb. Mm -hmm. And then I thought about a lemon drop. And then I thought about making the base of the punch. So, and so good for the holidays, lemon perfect. drops. Oh, yes. So this is um, going to be made with a simple syrup. Easiest way, half a cup of sugar, half a cup of, of water has just heated until the sugar has dissolved. Not caramelized, none of that, no. just melt it down. And this is okay. a great technique, actually, for figuring out how you could put herbs in here, you could put rosemary in here and maybe flavor a pear cocktail or any number of things. But for the sake of this drink, once it's come to a, a, a boil, it's melted, the sugar's all dissolved, and then we just place these cleaned rinds right in here and just kind of... Uh, Mix them around. They need to steep for about two hours, but you know what? This is another thing. You're fixing oh, so up your lamb, and you put it the night before, and just let it steep. And then when it is finished, this so you is what you have. you don't even cook have. it? No, you just, it's, oh. it's hot when I put it in. Put the, put oh, the, um, and, and don't even cook it. Wow, and then yeah. roll them in sugar? No, no, oh. just that, because it's gonna float in the bottom of that oh. beautiful punch. Oh, okay. Now, to mm, assemble beautiful. the punch, I'm going to let you do the honors. This is the fun part, Martha. You know, what's a party without a cocktail? Vodka and champagne. All right. Ooh. So we have juiced, we used uh, the juice from these lemons. Okay, so. We strained it because I don't like the little bits of. Um, right, so three quarters of a cup. Three quarters of a cup. Three quarters of a cup of vodka, but you could use your. This is um, my favorite kind. Oh. Potato vodka, Polish. So you could use a little Liberty there if you wanted How to. How much? Three quarters of a cup. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Oh, it smells so good. We don't have anything to do the rest of the day, right, Martha? Nothing, okay. nothing at all. And this is, um, mm. by the way, you're using a very nice vodka, but you could use a basic vodka. Champagne, why don't no, you no. do the honors? But for your guests, they only deserve the best. And, uh, and a wonderful potato vodka uh, doesn't give you a headache. Oh, it doesn't? No. Ooh, no. that's good thing to know. <laughs> Why, but research? You've done research. Uh, oh, no. On my trip to Poland, I never told you how much vodka we drank. No, I missed out oh. on that. I think we need so, to take another trip to Poland. So I'm just gently, gently. You, and you'd open a bottle and you only hear the sigh of a lady when you're opening champagne. So if people pop the champagne, oops, perfect. It's a little, don't put a little it bit in more yet. than don't a put sigh. It in yet. This is a not a very premium. I mean, in other words, this is an excellent um, champagne. An expensive champagne, right? Okay. Because it's in the punch. Here, I'm just going to place these lemon So not rinds, the syrup. Right, yep, the syrup oh. goes in too. All okay. the syrup. Pretty. Now, I might cool that. Now, I would drink just that. Yeah, well, <laughs> you could make a dessert from that. And then, a of course, taste of first, that. first, wait, first. Wait, wait, I just want to taste that. Of course you do. I mean, a so... lemon lover, you've got to have straight up, oh, that's true, vodka and straight lemon with the rind. Delish. Oh, yum. Okay, this is going to now. That's a new kind of martini, a lemon martini. Lemon very drop. excellent. Martha's lemon drop mm. martini. Now, listen, here, you want to do this at the very last minute because you don't want to lose all those bubbles. What and time of day see? is this? I don't know, but. What do I have to do today? It's, uh, I'm sure you and I have nothing Joey, to do. Joey, would you ask my assistant what I have to do later on today? I'll get Martha, right on it, but I'm probably, it's, it's not much. Just <laughs> drink up, Martha, drink up. Martha, if you don't have a punch bowl or a. You know how everybody gets flowers sent in those vases and they oh, stuff yes. them under? This well, is for it. me, I bring them out and I use them to serve punch. They're wonderful. Look how beautiful this is. Thank you for a wonderful Cheers. bouquet idea. A wonderful drink. We'll be right back.